Word and welcome to another episode of Uvar. In today's video we are going to learn about some clee that is kind of a tool that will help you to work on your sum projects. So if you're interested to watching more content about serverless, cloud computing or software engineer practices in general, subscribe to my channel in the red button below. I post a video every Tuesday. So let's get started. <laughs> So this is the last video of September on the SAM series, but this doesn't mean that it's the last video on the series. More videos are going to come because there's so many interesting topics to cover about SAM. Now that I've been working with it for a while, I'm kind of excited to show you those parts. And remember to let me know in the comments which parts you want to watch more than others so I can start with those videos. So for now, this is the last video and what we are going to do is take a look at the SAM client. That is a tool that will help you to develop your SAM applications. So it will give you different um, kind of functionalities to create a serverless application, very easy to test locally your API gateways, your lambdas, to check the logs, to package your project and to deploy your project to production and things like that. And it has many, many, many other features that we will see in the next episodes. So the idea of the SAM client is that it will help you to develop your applications faster. So for example, if you can do local testing of your lambdas or your API gateways, you don't need to deploy and you can fast iterate locally before putting these lambdas on the cloud. Also with, with SAM client, you're able to debug your functions and you're able to check the logs and a million other things that I think they're really, really interesting. So. In this video, I will just show you how to create an application and do very small things. But I think this is really great started for like a next set of four or five videos. So I hope you're very interested in this. Now let's go to the code and get started. So in order to have AWS SAM in working, you have to install the SAM CLI. You need to have Docker, you need to have Python, and you need to have the AWS CLI. I have everything in my computer so I can move to the next step and that is to install SAM. The instructions in the web page didn't really make it for me so I have a Mac and I follow the instructions I leave you in the screen that is pip install dash dash user dash dash upgrade setup tools then I run pip install dash dash user es set underscore setup then pip install dash dash user dash dash upgrade aws sum clean and then i find my python user base so basically where is my python install and i get that and i add that to my path and i put it in my bash profile so i leave you in the screen all the steps so you can follow them so the steps that were in the in this documentation really didn't do it for me but maybe they do it for you so you can go and get started with this. So to verify that you have installed it correctly, you can done some version, dash dash, and then it will give you the version. So what is to get started? First thing we can do is create a new pro project and that is some init dash dash runtime. And the example is has Python, but if we put Node.js, it will create a Node.js project for us. So we can open it with Atom and it's inside some app. So let's open that with Atom and see what is in there. There is a README, so that's good. So we can go directly there and we can see that there is this, uh, the files, there is an explanation of what these files were generated for us. So the instruction file is the README. Hello world is where the Lambda function code is. App, uh, JS is the Lambda function code. Node.js is the dependency files, test, the unit test, and there's an example. And then we have the SAM template that is outside. And there you can find in the template YAML one function and it has the uh, one API that is in the path hello get and it has one environmental variable pa uh, value there. So it kind of show you how to do things but I think it's kind of weird. And But the cool thing is that it shows you where in the GitHub to find the information about this so you can go and check. And then it has the app.js and the method is there. And I don't know, it's just a very weird example, it's checking uh, the IP for an URL and I don't know, this is a really weird example for a hello world. For a starter, maybe I would put something simpler. 
So yeah, and the test handler it has an example on a unit test. So for me, this was not very helpful. So let's move to the next thing. Let's go to usage. So there we can see things that we can do with the SAM CLI. We can invoke functions locally. We can run automated tests for your Lambdas function locally. We can generate sample events. Uh, we can run API gateway locally. We can debug applications. We can fetch stale and filter functions logs. And we can validate some templates. And we deploy and package to Lambda. So I will do some of these things in this video. And other things will come in future videos. So I will show you how to run your API gateway locally. I will show you how to fetch the logs. I will show you how to validate the SAM template. And how to package and deploy to Lambda. But I think the testing and the debugging deserves their own special video so i will not get into it now so let's see how to run api gateway locally some local start api run super simple this starts a local server in our machine you need to have docker running for this so don't forget that oops error maybe we should install this application first so i will cancel my server i will quit it and i will run um, npm install of my application first and then we can start the server again good so now let's see hello good so one thing that you can do after you have it start the server you can change anything in your handler.js or in your code and it will update automatically without you needing to refresh the server so that's really cool and if you change something in your template yaml you need to start on the server again but it happens very fast so that's very cool the next thing we can do is to validate the sum template and for that we run some validate that's just template and the name of the template that in this case is template yaml and this does very weird thing it validates everything that has template on it and it gives a lot of errors in weird places so i still don't know what it's doing i know that some cli is on a beta but it does weird things the next thing we want to do is to package and deploy this into lambda so we just run some package and basically it's exactly the same and when we do the aws package no magic there so it just changed some to aws it doesn't help you much and then we can either run aws confirmation deploy as we have done or then we can run some deploy and it has the same things that the aws cloudformation deploy has so you just save the cloudformation word it doesn't really help you much so it does exactly the same it uploads it to s3 and then it deploys the file that you put in s3 into cloud formation and it creates the stacks for you and we can go and check the stack so we can see in the stack we have the function and we have the api we can uh, get the from the stages we can get the url and we can call this API good and the next thing we want to do is we want to get the logs so we are going to use that some logs the name of the function and then the name of the stack and that will be us the logs in the console that's pretty handy I like that functionality a lot with serverless framework and you can also tail the logs so whenever you have new things coming they will just appear and I think that's super handy and I like that feature a lot. It's always convenient to have it. The last thing we are going to do is to delete the stack. I could not find uh, something for deleting the stack, so I'm using the AWS CLI for it. And that's it. This was the video for today. I hope you like it. If you did, give a big thumbs up. And if you have anything you want to see from Sam, don't forget it to let me know in the comments what are those topics. I really want to keep on making videos about SAM. I'm really excited as learn, starting to learn it. And I hope you enjoy this series as much as I did making it. Around here, there are other videos from my channel for you to watch. So go ahead and click. And if not, I see you in the next episode of Fubar. Ciao, ciao.